Rashida just sent a strong warning to K. Michelle after K. Michelle threw shade at her yet again. Now, if y'all remember, Rashida and K. Michelle got into it back in 2012 when Rashida accused her of lying about her boyfriend, Memphis, physically violating her. It's unclear why Rashida decided to be messy and call out K. Michelle for lying on a situation she knew nothing about. But the feud between them has only only gotten worse ever since K. Michelle has taken every chance she gets to throw shade at Rashida, including the time she dragged Rashida for taking back her serial cheating husband, Kirk, even after he was caught with multiple women and had a whole baby on her. Oh, so if a woman sit in your face yeah. and play with you about your abuse and tell you what you did not go through, and go through a city to block you from getting your hair done or doing anything um, over a mm -hmm. and then get out then don't sit on panels of woman empowerment no, that's up forever. Okay, so if y'all have been keeping up with Love & Hip Hop Atlanta for a while, then you've probably heard about K. Michelle and Rashida's very nasty feud back in 2012 that got physical during the reunion show. It all started after Rashida put K. Michelle on blast for lying about her boyfriend Memphis putting his hands on her. Rashida claims she spoke to Memphis and his wife, Toya Wright, after the allegations came out and there was a lot of loopholes in K. Michelle's story. But baby K. Michelle clapped back and accused Rashida of using her trauma for clout. She said Rashida was on her side when she first exposed Memphis for what he did, but once things started to get tough, she switched up on her and started siding with him and Toya. So many times and there were points where you empathized with her and understood her story. What was different that time? What made you take a different position? To be honest with you, I've been friends with them for a very long, long time, okay. and I'm very, very close to his wife, you know? And I, I heard both sides of the story. What are your thoughts now on the on the subject, on everything that you've heard from K. Michelle? You know what, to be honest with you, it ain't got nothing to do with me, but at the end of the day, I don't know if I believe K. Michelle. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Regardless of anything, for three years, I've been helping women who went through domestic violence. So regardless of how crazy K. Michelle is or how I act, I don't say I act right. I don't always act right. I never have said I was this picture perfect woman. What I said was, what happened to me is what happened to me. And Rashida, you don't have to believe it, but you sure sat there every episode getting your check. Damn Listen straight. Listen to sure you did. did what it was. You sure cried at everything you with me in my hand. But when the first episode came out and it got tough, you got to run it. Oh, I ain't run. Yes, you did. No, tough. No, I didn't. When run. it got tough, the boss left, and we went to oh, Sweet Valley High. Oh, you want to say the boss left? The boss we got to. First of all, this not a Twitter say her name. Please tell Scarecrow to shut up. A lot of people dragged Rashida because they felt like the only reason she was throwing K. Michelle under the bus was because she was BFF with Memphis's wife, Toya. So she felt the need to defend her best friend's man against his ex. Now, Memphis also denied ever putting his hands on her and even went as far as to file a defamation lawsuit against K. Michelle for tarnishing his image. However, when this case went to court, he lost the lawsuit after he admitted to having a physical confrontation with K. Michelle in a Memphis hotel back in 2009. He also acknowledged spending her money, buying jewelry, as well as sending threatening text messages about offering her son. Chow, you cannot make this up. That man knew whole well he was very guilty of everything he was being accused of and still decided to waste his own money and everybody's time in a useless lawsuit. That you were abused by your ex-boyfriend who was the executive over at the label that you were at Jive and um, that he physically you and he countered those allegations and said that he did not. Has that caused any backlash with you? No, I knew what was going to happen and I knew what people were going to say and the same thing that happened at the label, you know, when I tried to tell and, you know, they later found out because he admitted what happened. Um, I didn't, I didn't think that he would come out and say. So he admitted what happened? He admitted that he abused? He admitted it to the label. Who did he admit it to? To the, like the Peter Edges and people at the label, to his own person, Glenn Delgado, that was working under him. And I got out of my record label. I 
owed two million dollars. Labels don't let you go with that over your head. Everything, all the everything, and I would forward them over. And it, what could they say other than we gotta let her go? She's gonna sue. We gotta get her out of here. So. Did you ever think about taking legal action against no. the label or against him for what happened? And why didn't you go to the police when this happened? It was my fault. Like, um, I should have went to the police when it happened. I was in love. That was my best friend. And he has his own issues from the killing of his father and different things that he went through. I wasn't trying to take him down. You know what I'm saying? I was in love. You go through self-esteem issues. Maybe I was wrong. You know, I didn't want to leave him. So after that happened, I did leave. So, you know, it, it, it was a lot. And the label, I never thought about, hey, I'm gonna sue them, you know, cause you don't wanna get blackballed in the music industry. But baby, get this. Even after he admitted to putting his hands on her, he's still been denying the allegations. And Rashida has never apologized to Kay Michelle for accusing her of lying. As expected, Kay Michelle did not let this go. And she's kept her foot on Rashida's neck ever since. Kay Michelle started started throwing shots at Rashida back in 2016 when she posted a video on Snapchat clowning Rashida's rap career and dragged her for accusing her of lying on Memphis. Girl, bubble gum. Girl, little bow wow, sing your song. I'm the type of girl you wanna take. See all those bitches tried to come for me on Love Hip Hop. They said I was a lie, but you know, Rashida, your rap career seems like a lie to me. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> and this was just the beginning because K. Michelle was not done reading Rashida to filth just yet. Just a few months after this, Rashida's husband Kirk was caught cheating on her with a bunch of women and even had a whole baby with an ex stripper named Jasmine Washington. Kirk even had the audacity to act like he ain't know who Jasmine was, but they later did a DNA test and he was very much the father of that baby. This was a very embarrassing time for Rashida and she still decided to stay with her man and accept that child. But of course, K. Michelle was not gonna let that slide without throwing some shots at Rashida first. She came for both Rashida and her former love and hip hop castmate, Miami Faust, on her song, F Your Man, where she trolled Rashida for taking Kirk back after he cheated and dragged Mimi for her leaked tape with her ex, Nico London, in which she was seen holding on to a shower rod for dear life. So K. Michelle said in her song, but I'm better than you and him because I don't want nobody with 40 rings and a baby that's not from me or have me hanging from the shower rod recording me. K. Michelle was later asked by a messy fan what she thought about Rashida and Kirk's situation. And she took this as an opportunity to drag Rashida yet again. She started off her response in a very mature way, but then sprinkled a little bit of shade in there. There's a tough one. They seem really in love and we all make mistakes. She knows her heart and her limits. I wish them well, but it couldn't be me. I ain't welcoming no strangers, baby. Now y'all know she could have left that last part out, but she just could not help herself. K. Michelle later hopped on a teaser for the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season seven reunion, where Rashida tells Jasmine Washington that she didn't owe her nothing. For some reason, this triggered the hell out of K. Michelle, and she started going off in the comments and demanded Rashida to apologize for calling her a liar. She said, but you owe me something. Thing, an effing apology for calling me a liar, making fun of my entire situation, said I'd never find a man like yours. Well, I don't want one. I forgive you, but you and your crew put me through. This is no joke. But as usual, Rashida ignored K. Michelle and went on about her business. A source very close to Rashida said she was no longer interested in going back and forth with K. Michelle over this very old feud and would love to put everything behind her. K. Michelle eventually got tired, trying to get a response back out of Rashida and stepped down from dragging her. That was until July of this year when a fan brought the whole thing back up again and asked if Rashida had ever apologized to K. Michelle. The fan said, I wonder if K. Michelle ever got an apology from Rashida after she found out the truth. Hmm. K. Michelle replied to this and said, F her. We responded to a fan uh -huh. um, who was like, 
uh, what did they say? Do, did, you know, that they asked if you ever received an apology from Rashida. Mm -hmm. And you were like, F her. So, like, are you guys cordial, cool? Hell no. Yeah. It's forever. Like, what do you expect from a to open a bistro? <laughs> anyway, it looks like Rashida has had enough of K. Michelle coming for her because she recently hopped on an IG Live and sent a very strong warning for her to stop harassing her for an apology she ain't never gonna get. Please come up on my live with the but I love you guys. Anyway, so <laughs> um, I'm gonna go visit my grandmother and that's that. But I love my honey. We're here and we're well, ready to do a little like shopping. Just talking to but then like I'm not apologizing I'm not doing none of that. Balls nuts. <laughs> yeah, doing all that. Apologize okay. to what? No, I wanna know. What's the normal Well, if you tell a dumb <laughs> go back and go look at the <laughs> reunion when you did apologize, they'll shut the up. Oh my gosh, somebody. Joe, Rashida knows she did wrong for calling that girl a liar, but refusing to apologize because her ego was too big. She hopped on IG Live again and said she actually did apologize to K. Michelle years ago and even had a conversation with her about it. But for some reason, K. Michelle keeps bringing it up and asking for an apology she already gave. So clear because we've been talking about this for a long time. About how many long, how long, how long has it been? He was pregnant with Carter. <laughs> I was pregnant with Carter. So y'all, <laughs> I guess today I just it, it, it came out the wrong way. But what I would say was, I mentioned. I, I'm just gonna say this. I I had conversations, and I have to say I'm sorry that you guys don't know that I actually had conversations with that young lady, and we had spoken, and I've apologized on that same platform that you've seen everything else. So I just wanted y'all to be clear in the thing that's, you know, it's kind of hard over the time because people are always accusing you of doing something that you didn't do. And yes, I did. Now, I'm not too sure if Rashida is actually telling the truth. Cause if she really did apologize, then why didn't she clarify that years ago? Why wait over a decade to now say you apologized? I don't know about y'all, but something ain't right with that. Anyways, people were not here for Rashida warning K. Michelle and trying to make the whole thing out to be a joke. And baby, they dragged her. Like this person who said, Rashida is 47 and getting on live saying she's not apologizing for nothing. When it comes to her being loud and wrong in K. Michelle's business about Memphis, you're grown as hell and embarrassing as F. If you weren't gonna say anything, why address it, lame woman? But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Rashida sending K. Michelle a very strong warning after denying her for over a decade. And do y'all think K. Michelle should just let it slide? Or should she keep her foot on Rashida's neck until she spits out a real public apology for calling her a liar? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.